Good morning, Storytime friends. It's time for Tales. I'm Miss Corinne, and we're here at the Avondale Library, and I have stories and songs for you today. But as you probably know by now, the first thing we need to do is sing a song together. I knew you did. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Cause your books are my books and my books are your books. Because we're in a library. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. I thought so. We want to hear a story, a story, a story. We want to hear a story, so we'll listen well. We'll sit on our bottoms and open our ears. We want to hear a story, so we'll listen well. Well, friends, it is almost the end of summer learning. And summer learning this year has been all about imagining your story. There's an old song that my grandmother used to sing for me. This is how it goes. Tell me why the stars do shine. Tell me why the air twines. song asks the question, why? Tell me why. Could you imagine why the stars shine? Well, there's a scientific answer for that, isn't it? The stars shine because they're big balls of burning gas, hundreds of millions of miles away. So they're like our sun, but they're really, really far away, and so we can only see them at night when they twinkle in the dark night sky. That's the scientific reason why the stars shine. But what if we could imagine a pretend reason? See, there's a type of story called a why story, and it tries to give a reason why something is the way that it is. Not the scientific reason, but a fun reason, a pretend reason. So I'm going to try to imagine why the stars shine. Stars kind of look like fireflies, so what if a long time ago there were no stars in the sky, and the earth was full of fireflies. There were more fireflies on the earth than any other animal. And in fact, there were so many fireflies that at night when they started to shine, none of the animals could sleep at night. So finally, all of the animals asked the fireflies if they could please help them sleep at night. And most of the fireflies agreed that they would fly way up into the sky where it was dark at night and shine way out there so that they wouldn't keep everybody awake at night. And that is why the stars shine. Well, wasn't that fun? It's kind of fun to make up pretend stories, isn't it? Well, the Cherokee people have been living in America for a very long time, and they have some of my favorite why stories. And most of their why stories, or a lot of their why stories, are about animals. And that's one of the stories that I have for you today. This story is Why the Possum's Tail is Bare. Well, once upon a time, a long time ago, 
Possum had a beautiful fluffy tail. It was just the most magnificent tail in the entire animal kingdom and he was so proud of it. Look at my tail. See how fluffy and smooth it is. Oh, it's the most magnificent tail anyone's ever seen. Everyone must be so jealous. Well, it's true that some people were jealous, specifically Rabbit, who only had a very short little stubby tail. Well, one day, the animals decided they were gonna have a big dance. And everyone was invited, but it was Rabbit's job to make sure that everybody knew they were invited. And so he went around telling all of the animals to come to the dance that night. He got to Possum's house and he said, uh, hey Possum, are you coming to the dance tonight? And Possum said, well, only if there's a special spot for me so everyone can see my beautiful tail. Just look at it, isn't it magnificent? Um, uh, yeah, sure, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll make that happen, Possum. Brilliant, I'll be there. Well, then Rabbit had an idea. He said, in fact, in fact, uh, Possum, in fact, your tail is so magnificent that you're gonna have, not only are you gonna have a special place of honor where everybody can see it, but we're gonna send somebody over to your house before the dance to groom your tail to make it look especially nice. Oh, it's just magnificent, said the possum. Oh, I love that. Thank you, thank you. Well, Rabbit went to his friend Cricket, who was well known as the best barber among all the animals, and he told Cricket his plan. Later that day, before the dance, Cricket went to Possum's house and he said, well, hello, I'm here to do your tail. And Possum said, oh, thank goodness you're here. It needs to look absolutely fabulous tonight. And Cricket said, oh, I'll make it happen. And Cricket began to comb his tail. Oh, wow, you have such volume and body. This is just really lovely. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you, said Possum. And then Cricket said, well, I am going to wrap your tail very tightly in this special ribbon because I want to make sure that it's nice and smooth and perfect when you get to the dance. So whatever you do, don't unwrap it until you get to the dance. Of course, said Possum. I'll absolutely do that. And so Cricket began to wrap Possum's tail. But as he wrapped his tail, he very quietly snipped off the fur. He wrapped and he snipped. He wrapped and he snipped. He wrapped and he wrapped. Oh, it's gonna look amazing. And he snipped until he had snipped off all of Possum's fur from his tail. But it was wrapped so tightly that Possum had no idea. And Cricket said, well, just keep it tightly wrapped and I'll see you at the dance. You're gonna be amazing. Later that night, Possum arrived at the dance and sure enough, as Rabbit had promised, there was a spot right in the middle for him. And when the music started, Possum stood up and he started to dance and sing. Look at my tail, my beautiful tail. It's such a pretty fluffy tail. Look at my tail, my beautiful tail. Oh, I have to unwrap it first. And he unwrapped his tail. And he sang, look at my tail, my beautiful tail. It's such a fluffy, fluffy tail. And all of the animals looked at his bare tail and they And 
awesome thought that they were so excited to see his beautiful fluffy tail. It's such a fluffy, fluffy tail. It's the fluffiest tail in the whole world. It's so much fluffier and longer than your tail or your tail or your tail or your tail. Or your tail. Hey, I don't have a tail. Don't you just love my tail? And all of the animals <coughs> did get <kept> laughing. <coughs> Does he know? Does he know? Does he know that his tail is there? Oh my goodness. <gasps> and Possum kept singing, It's the most fabulous tail in the world. Look at my tail. And I wondered what they were laughing at and he turned around to behold his magnificent tail and <gasps> he rolled over on his back and didn't say a word it didn't move and he just kind of just pretended to be dead but he was so embarrassed and that's exactly what possums do to this day when you surprise them and that is why possums tail is bear. What a silly story. I wonder if you could imagine some why stories. Like, why do unicorns have horns? Why does the tooth fairy want your baby teeth? Why do you have to go to sleep at night? Why does hair grow? Do you think that you could imagine a why story and share it with us? Well, I love spending Thursday mornings with you guys for Time for Tales. And even though we're gonna take a break now that summer learning is almost over, we're still gonna have our favorite videos and stories and songs up on Facebook every week so that you can come back and revisit some of your favorites. And then in September, we're gonna be coming back with all new story times. Thank you for coming to hear some stories. I will miss you when you go, but I will see you at our next story time. Until then, I love you so. Thank you guys for coming. Go and